Hi, my name's Ben. Hi, my name's David. Today we're going to take you on a journey all about the history of the Romans in Chesterton. But first, we need to get into character, don't we? Yeah. And who's that going to be? Wow! What happened to my sunglasses? <laughs> but what about you? Oh wow, this looks so cool! Oh, but maybe since it's 2015 we should wear something a little bit more modern. Yeah, I agree. Oh, oh. my sunglasses! That's better. Alright, you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Let's do it! One of the reasons that Chesterton is so famous for its Roman heritage is because that there was a marching force here. It was believed to be one of the largest marching forts in Europe. As you can see behind me, at the top of the hill is the, is the school for Chesterton. And this is where the Roman fort used to be. It was a marching fort which meant that people going into war would come here to the marching fort and prepare before they went off into battle. And there was believed to be about 500 people who would stay in the marching fort at any one time. It was a great location because it was on the top of a hill, which meant that they would be able to see any enemies coming closer to them. But also, people thought that it was a really good location because it showed power over other people that were living below them. This map shows where the Roman marching fort would have been on Luma Road. You can see from the size of the school just how big the marching fort actually was. In 2013, one of the students here found a Roman coin on an archaeological dig. This is the Chesterton mileage disc, which shows the number of Roman miles between Chesterton and a lot of the other Roman towns and forts in England. It even shows the distance in Roman miles between Chesterton and Rome. I am Gluteus Maximus, champion of Rome. Dave was supposed to still be filming. That's right. We're in Red Street, and one of the reasons why people believe it's called Red Street is because of a great battle that took place here. One of the other theories behind why it might be called Red Street is because of the red clay that was in the ground at the time. And this was used for things like pottery. Hiya, we're down in Holdings, where we know there was a small Roman settlement connected to the marching fort. Previous digs in Holdage have found stone that was linked to the settlement. However, the stone were thought to be part of larger buildings that would open to the public. It could be that the small settlement that was both for Romans and Britons might have actually been larger than they first thought. <laughs> <laughs> 